Okay, we're out in front of a house here in the uh, faucet yesterday. They were uh, washing the car. They had the hose hooked on there. And when they got through washing the car, they went back in the house and they uh, there was water all over the carpet. Uh, so uh, they couldn't figure out what it was. So anyway, here I am to check it. And I imagine there's a... Uh, Something's wrong with this uh, hose bib that's uh, leaking inside the wall. So let me uh, get a wrench on here, and we're going to take this take this off. So, and we'll see what's going on here. So I'm going to take this take this off. Let me put the camera down, and then take it off, and then we'll get back on it. Okay, so we're uh, we're pulling this out now. I uh, got it off. Uh, it's kind of let's see. Let's get this camera. Uh, we're pulling it out, and uh, look at here, right here. It's got a. It's cracked. This is a frost-proof uh, faucet. But it's cracked right here, squirting out water. So when they were using it, the water was leaking out inside the wall. And then when they closed it, it closed back here. And then to top it all off, look at here, they soldered this on. So this was soldered on to the joint inside. So I actually twisted the pipe off. So I'm going to have to replace the pipe inside the wall. I'm going to go inside the house to do this repair. Uh, but whoever, uh, when they plumbed this house, they soldered this on. They didn't put a, a connection where you could unscrew it. So uh, bad plumbing from the get-go. Or, or they didn't do it correctly. So would have come, come out. But anyway, so that's something that you'll, if you run into that and uh, you've got, after you pulled it loose, Make sure you turn the water off at the meter, because if you don't, you'll have water squirting everywhere. But anyway, so anyway, that's what's wrong. We're going to replace that, and we're going to go inside and uh, cut the wall out and fix that. Let's, let me go inside. Okay, so I'm inside, and I'm cutting this, uh, cutting the wall out. Getting this last little bit, pull it out. And... Uh, what we've got is this uh, this twisted off. So I already cut this off. Uh, I cut it. It was right here, going out. Uh, get the light over here where you can see it better. Right here, and I cut it off, and it was twisted off. You can see it where it twisted off. They soldered it on, so they should have never soldered it on. It needed to be a something where we could uh, actually screw it in, something like this. I'm going to put this back in. This is a shark bites. We're going to put this on here, and that way we'll be able to tie it to this back here so that we can actually uh, tighten it up and it won't uh, twist around. So in case you have to ever, if somebody in the future has to change it out again, It'll be done where they can actually get to it and change it without twisting off the pipe. And then we'll put the wall back. So let me fix this and then we'll look at it again here in just a second. Okay, we've got the new faucet put in. We're going to put some, uh, we're going to lock this in two before, put some tabs on there so, so that it's nice and uh, strong. So in case you have to take it off later. So we'll put some, uh, we'll put a, a plate here, probably a two by four, screw this in to where it's locked in so that in case you ever have to change it out again in the future. We also had this, uh, it's leaning down so it'll drain out. And shouldn't be any water staying in, in the future. So let me go out the front and down from out there. 
Okay, we got the new faucet on. We're going to uh, seal all this up with some uh, mortar mix or some mortar uh, cock, whatever we got out there in the truck. So anyway, this should be, that should do it. It's, it's got a quick turn on faucet, so it should be okay now. Okay, so we got this all fixed. We took out all these parts right here. We put in the new uh, faucet. It's leaning down. We sealed it with some concrete repair uh, cock around the, all the inside. And then we're going to go back in and finish up sealing up the inside of the wall. So anyway, uh, I don't see this happening very often, but it happened on this faucet. So Okay, we just got through fixing the hose faucet here on this particular house the uh, where it, that, uh, I'm sure what had happened is they left the hose hooked on during the winter and because the water was still in the hose and backed up into the faucet itself it uh, caused it to crack in the copper pipe there and split all right that's it everybody have a blessed day Keep walking with Jesus, and see you on the next video.